Hello everybody, here is Eugene Bogdistov speaking and I received an interesting request from one of you. Uh, it was Ms. Dushal and her team and they asked me a good question about whether a combination of different levels and attributes can lead to a decision to go for a project or do not go for the project. And also I had a question to the group because they tested how the commercials are perceived and they use different technologies like Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. And my assumption was that different age groups prefer different channels of communication. So we'll try now to do what we want to do. We need the age groups, first of all. And I go to the variable list. Uh, Ms. Dusha and her team send me the their file. Here is the Q6. It is the year of birth. And we need to calculate the age. So we take the age. And age equals the current year minus the year of birth. Look that you have all cases included. Continue and click on OK. And if we succeeded, then we have now a new variable which is called age. And yes, we have different ages. If you want to know how many people you have, you have to go to analyze and then use descriptives and frequencies and add the variable age, and then you will see how many people of different age you have. But to do this, you need to take your initial, not restructured file, because if I do it now, as you will see, I will have six people who are age 26, but I assume it was only one person who just participated, who made 10 decisions. It is the restructured file. That is why I have so many people here with 26. But okay, we continue with the age group. Now we need to compute a different age group, and I assume we need to take those who are younger than 30, then we take those who are 30 till 40 or 45, and then we take those who are older than 40 or 45. A computer variable, we call this variable age group and it equals to one if these are the younger people let's take those who are let's cut this off age is younger than 30 and continue and if we're right then the new variable will appear this one and see those who are younger than 30 they are now graded as one so we need now to compute the second group which will be Let's take group number two, age, probably we need to take age who are older or equal to 30 and, don't forget this and, not or, it should be and, the age is younger than 40 or 45, I don't know what is the best age, let's take 45, let's see what is going to happen with 45, and continue, okay, change existing variable, yes, because we're using the same variable, now you see we have some twos and we have some ones, and we have people who are older than 45, so we need to code the next group, which is then age group 3. And these are those who are older or equal to 45. So, click on continue and OK. Change existing variable, it's fine. Now we have the variable here. And we need now to, to remember who is where. We go to age groups, to values, and here we can add the values. So we take the value one is younger than 30. Add, then we have group two is 30 to 45. Actually 44, because 45 belongs to the next group. Okay, and the group number three are all the called correctly 45 or older. Okay, so now we know what we have. And now look at the following. We take now only some variables because I don't want to uh, overload you just so you know what we have here. We have now a nice table, which Ms. Dushal and her team send me. We have the variable SM, one, two, three, and four, which stand for Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube. Let's rename those variables. It was Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube. Let's see what I can copy. No, it will not work. So this one is Facebook. Then we have the Instagram. Then we have the Pinterest. And we have YouTube. These are the channels of communication. And we also have, let's look what we have here. Uh, let's take this one. This is the variable i, which is what exactly they see, what kind of information, this yoga, fasten, current, golf, natura, sauna, spa. Let's take those. Let's see what we will manage to make it simpler and faster. Let's make transpond. 
copy them from here and let's try to add them here. Would it work? No. Yes, it worked. Not completely. One variable didn't work. It was this part because of this slash. It doesn't understand the slash. So we need to call it sauna spa with the underline. So we have this now here and we'll see whether they have impact on the final decision, <clears throat> which is this variable here. Usually I would go for this option here, regression, binary, where is the regression? Regression, binary logistic. We have our dependent variable is the final decision. And the independent variable, I just take only this Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and I take yoga, fasting course, sauna, and so on. And usually I would just click OK, and the equation will come, and you see that indeed there are some things which is preferable. So if you compare to YouTube, you see YouTube is sorted out, so we compare everything against YouTube. Pinterest is slightly more preferable than YouTube. Instagram is pretty likely one and a half times more preferable than YouTube and actually pretty significant. And Facebook is less preferable. So people would rather use YouTube than Facebook. So it's fine. Now I want you to show how you do the group comparison. Uh, I show you only the simple version of how to do it. There are other ways where you can also see the significance of this one, but we'll make the simplest version. Uh, you go to data, split file, and now you can compare groups here. You click on compare groups and you compare them based on the age group. Add it here. Okay. And now you just simply repeat what we have done, the logistic regression. Click on OK and see what happens. You will have three tables. And now in each table you have the comparison of these three groups. We go to the last one, which is the important for us. And let's see, the younger people, they do prefer Instagram and highly significantly, uh, almost three times more often, they would use Instagram than YouTube. But if you go to older people, let's see what it holds. Yeah, Instagram is only one and two times more likely to be used. Pinterest is more likely to be used than um, YouTube, but, but uh, yeah, Facebook is almost indifferent, so almost the same. So they, they don't really prefer Facebook over YouTube. Uh, and the younger group, you see in the younger group, more people prefer Facebook. So in this simple way, you can compare groups and see what a difference hold. The only thing you have to bear in mind is that be very careful with regard to your groups. It can happen that you have only some people, few people in the group, and then of course the whole group will be significant. If you have only one person who is young and compare against the others, whatever you say, this person will be different. So be careful when you define your groups. The next thing I want to show you is we go again to data, split file, and now I take the whole file because I don't need the group comparison anymore. I would like to see whether there is a nice combination where people do prefer, for example, Facebook and yoga, or maybe they prefer YouTube and yoga. And it is a kind of a bit tricky, but I show you how you do it. So you leave this table as it is. This is your basic table, which you need. We go to the next one and you can enter the second model. And the second model is called moderation. If you don't know it, you have my podcast where I explain what moderation analysis is. It's MCI for research.podbean.com, four as a number. And let's see what people do prefer YouTube with combination with yoga. You select those two and click not on this one, but on this button, the moderation, the interaction button. Let's do the same YouTube and fasting courses. Then it uh, YouTube and golf. Then you go to YouTube and Natur, and Nature, and YouTube and Sauna. And in this way, you can make any combination. You can go then to Facebook and then to whatever, Instagram, Pinterest, and see the combination. So I do just a simple solution to you see how it works. The only thing you have to bear in mind that for moderation, it's just a more advanced analysis, you need also bigger sample size, a larger sample size. Okay, so just click on OK and see what happens. And let's see what we have. The first table you will see here is this one. So you have now two blocks. You have the block number one and block number two. The first block number one, I left this as it was. And it's just a simple combination. What we had at the beginning, you see that Facebook is less preferred than, than YouTube and actually highly likely less preferred. People wouldn't like to have it. And Instagram is almost the same as YouTube. Pinterest is less preferred. 
you see the data has changed just because we added some additional interactions. And let's see on these interactions whether we have something significant, whether something different. And we compare now, the last one was SPA on YouTube. We compare now different combinations. If compared to SPA and sound on YouTube, if you look at the nature, it is less preferable. So on YouTube, they would prefer to see the information about sound and SPA. If you compare it to golf, it's even less likely. So of course, if you have two options, looking golf on YouTube or looking advertisement for uh, sauna and spa on YouTube, then sauna and spa will be more preferable. And then the fasting courses on YouTube, it's less different and yoga on YouTube is also less. So probably YouTube, the best way to use YouTube is combine it with sauna and spa information. Sauna and spa on YouTube is of highest value. If you compare all this, only this channel and all information options which you have, then it seems that sauna and spa should be on YouTube. And of course, you can repeat the same analysis and add to this analysis also, let's take Instagram with combination with yoga and then Instagram with fasting courses and then Instagram with golf and then Instagram with nature and Instagram with sound and spa, just to see what happens. And you could or you should add all of these options. Okay, so let's click what happened. We have now against the block number one is what we had initially, all the values. And the block number two is now this more complex combination, this, this moderation analysis or interaction analysis. We know already everything about YouTube. Let's see about the Instagram. And it seems that people on Instagram do prefer also information about sauna and spa, which is more preferable. You see all the numbers are lower than one. So if you compare all these options to sauna and spa in combination with Instagram, then sauna and spa is more preferable. Although golf on Instagram is almost as likely, it's close to one. But nobody would like to have the fast and corn on Instagram. And this is how you make this analysis. Again, you can also add information, for example, willingness to trade or willingness to pay. You can combine it with these combinations too, and you can really see in how much you should add efficiency or how much time it should cost or how much money it should cost that people do go for yoga on YouTube and not for uh, sauna and spa on YouTube. This is how this analysis works. This is called the moderation analysis. Again, feel free to watch or to listen to the podcast episode which I saved on the moderation analysis to have a better understanding. With this in mind, I think you are well equipped to make a great analysis to make different group comparison. Remember, you can make not only age group comparison, but for example, different industries, people who come from different industries, or those who are married against those who are single. And there are a lot of options you can do with this type of analysis. I wish you good luck with your research reports and I'm really eager to see what you produce in the next weeks. Good luck and bye-bye.